Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, cosmic avatars of our ground crew team of the 144. As we navigate through yesterday's total solar eclipse gateway, the power of these eclipse portals are magnifying all we are holding within our heart centers. Many of our starseed earth angelics are feeling exhausted due to anchoring in and integrating massive packets and codes of celestial information and higher energetics into the physical, astral, and etheric energy bodies to make our quantum leap of consciousness of the unity of our multidimensional sacred self. Be sure to practice mindfulness, stay hydrated, meditate, and rest when needed to assist the physical vessel in these transformations of the light. These celestial events are catalysts for great shifts. They are harbingers of change. What we are witnessing is unfolding in divine time beyond human comprehension. We assist the Universal One in this great shift of the ages by holding our visions of the new earth and collectively with our divine will and pure intent guide the energies to consciously co-create our new heaven upon the new earth. Aho! Welcome beloved beings of light, I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our Sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful meditation upon St. Germain. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below. And now we continue with Divine Sistar of the Light, Jennifer Catron. At this point, the Yeshua, Mary Heart Twinning, also takes place. Sacred Marriage of the Polarities, Heros Gamos, who is feeling it? And today from Divine Sister of the Light Christ, Mary Sophia. The triad of the monad spiritual body is made up of the seventh, eighth, and ninth layers, but begins connecting at the eighth chakra level, the thymus, the higher heart. When the monad comes in this way, the pattern of the entire heart changes, meaning the heart chakra is no longer a fourth astral heart chakra, but a blue heart. Your heart chakra turns blue, and the frequency coming through begins to turn blue. This is a connection to the turquoise of the mother arc, which ignites the inner sacred spirit called the Amorea flame, so the eighth dimension is gold in color. But when the monad begins to bloom in the diamond heart, and the heart begins to form, it actually looks blue, and it is called the living crystal lotus heart the Orion Core, and the Galactic Core. Christ, Mary Sophia, Mary Magdalene, Emerald Guardian, Eternal Cosmic Christ, Sun Dragon, and Cosmic Service. 333 coming in. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster. We have come from the great beyond to see this planet with love, Gaia. Timeline update. In the merging of important timelines yesterday, feeling it's both a personal and collective merging, 2020 and 2021 being the main timelines that merged, so situations that either began and did not complete a full cycle or completed but may need another go around to fully complete or end for good. There's also the 2017 timeline that Maria Teresa has been tracking, which she said is grounding this month, April, and an important part in my journey to Egypt, summer solstice, where I worked on updating the time codes at Giza Plateau. I heard sequential meaning, your timeline and collective will come in some order, gravitational pull perhaps, or what's ready for you personally, and more importantly, what the collective is ready to fully ground and integrate. You might remember 2012 timeline ended 2019, seven year cycle, then began to run its course in the 3D physical realm. 
Then a new timeline began, 2019 to 2023, four-year cycle, so now this 2024 is the integration and grounding of those codes. Hearing Apex Timeline, which is very exciting as we truly enter the golden age of Gaia. So much love, Valerie, from ValerieElster.com. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Ama, Grace. An eruption has been ignited within as I find myself on the other side of this eclipse portal. God force coming through with unprecedented power, devotion, and commitment to serve God next level. I surrender fully and completely to serve God every day with each breath, being a channel for God's all-encompassing love, wisdom, and glory. No more playing around the bush, no more belittling of self in any shape or form, no compromising my highest, truest, and fullest expression, abiding to divine truth and divine will. No more diminishing my spiritual gifts, but fully own the wise one, the beloved within, the star elder that I am, moving beyond self-identification, transcending fully into God omnipresence, collapsing all reissues and revoking all vows, oaths, agreements still holding me back from embodying and being the extension and expression of divine truth unfettered soul immersion and orchestration leaves no option but to surrender 100 percent and for the eye to step aside soul reinstating what was clear from i took my first breath here remembering my divine mission to serve god which is my soul mission which is fueled by divine love, no more, no less. From GraceElohim.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Shea from Numbers by Shea Numerology. 4924 There has been a shift. The way should be lighter and brighter now as April allows us some autonomy in how things go. In other words, you get to use your voice, your power, your charm, and your unique personality to influence your daily doings. What you bring to 2024, it will match. But what you bring to April, it will multiply. Today's right action is to get noticed. You can't and should not hide yourself, not your needs, contributions, feelings, desires, or especially your genius. You have what no one else has. And maybe we need some of that. Do not be greedy. Share that beautiful mind, heart, and spirit. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Master Lady Kara Ra, rising through the mirror of the solar eclipse new moon. The arc of visibility arrives as consciousness stretches. Post April 8th and in the waxing moon, we are all flowing through this moment of potentiality, navigating the expansive polarities. The arc of visibility that was directed over Central and Northern America and this potentiality opened a window, the stunning arrival of this time-out-of-time -time sequence through June. This is a celebration and a moment to pause with sincerity, love and presence, and gratitude for this miracle. Your dreams, the ones you have held and always knew, were ready to birth, honestly can. The catch, calling forward divine mastery presence, conscious awareness. Sustenance for the journey through the field of density that is ever widening. To let go of victim consciousness and the knowing of your divine mastery alchemical shift. Bringing a hand to your heart beyond judgment. Notice. What is seeking to entrap your emerging expansion? What is seeking to pattern the new after the old? The trinity of the trinity has anchored, and the self-revelation cycle is here because you are ready to be. This is a rare and unique moment in our collective history, and tonight I invite you to relax into a 30-minute sharing as all of the moments we have just walked through together begin to blossom. From SriAndKara.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Saffron Satara, we are arriving, doors opening. Over the past few weeks I have been seeing many crossing over. 
This is all happening within our consciousness. It was incredibly sticky for a while, but what I was shown a few weeks ago was that fleets of us that went first. A huge door opened, and God bless the many that held it open for others to walk through. Many beautiful souls stalled their walk through because they knew how important it was to get others through first. What I witnessed was the ultimate acts of selfless service, to hold space for others, to reach the level of consciousness, so they too could cross over. We knew as advanced souls that we couldn't go in and save or awaken. Our job was to reach maximum capacity of awakening in ourselves, we would act as motherboards to amplify the mass awakening that was taking place. We had to show the way, but it meant we had to go first. Not just talking, but also walking it. Every day we had to live and breathe the vision into creation. First came in the integration of the higher heart. Only love can make this shift happen. Now the higher mind is merged with the higher heart. 1111 Gateway Opening Up Working in unison together, we are directed now not only by our soul, but also the anima mundi, the world soul. The more we attune to the anima mundi, the more we are in full creation with her. I can't help but feel so proud of us all, because I can feel the magnitude of what has opened and what is now possible. It wasn't for nothing. You have done it. Everything stacked up against you, and you still pushed through. Open your beautiful heart to receive, because it is all there for you. Walk through, it's your time. Saffron from SaffronSatara.com And from 13 Moon Peace Time, Total Solar Eclipse and Alchemical Perspective The most potent unification of sun and moon energy occurs in an eclipse. Coni onctio oppositorum is the alchemical term describing the union of these opposites, of which is born an integrated wholeness no longer split by duality. The term coni onctio in Latin means union or joining. In alchemical terms, it represents the merging or union of opposites, a sacred marriage of the polarities inherent in the universe, whether it's the union of the sun and moon, king and queen, or any other set of dichotomies, the act of combining them leads to the birth of something new and transcendent. It is directly to do with the white queen, the moon, and the red king, soul, the sun, that connected alchemically, and what it's all about. It's to do with a stage of self-discovery, or the work, that a true alchemist does with his or herself. This is the heros gamos, the sacred marriage between the soul and Christ, Christ here representing our own inner divine essence. It's about the purification and merging of two energies, moon and sun, and in their final merging, the philosopher's stone is born, symbolic. A golden ring is given to the significant other as a symbol of their unification. The round shape of this ring symbolizes eternity. In esoteric alchemy, gold symbolizes the completion of the process of the transmutation of inferior energy, which is symbolized by base metals, into superior energy, which is symbolized by gold. In esoteric alchemy, the highest achievement is to unify, in a spiritual sense, the male aspect with the female aspect. 144 Flowing In When the alchemist succeeds in unifying the male with the female, he achieves spiritual completion and reaches godhood. He has achieved the unification between the male aspect and its female counterpart. The hermetic marriage has been fulfilled. Both aspects have been unified, and at last they can begin that for which they were created by divine authority. From Divine Sistar of the Light Erini, Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Athena, Twin Flames, What is Behind the Wall, What is the Energy that has been locked in the Wall, Please Take What Resonates. Whether a man or woman, at this moment, we are all dealing with a part of the self which has not yet understood what is taking place, 
and what is being asked of it. This part is the masculine in us, which cannot be touched via the usual approaches that might have worked in the past for the feminine. The masculine is all about proof, matter, reasoning, and meaning. It doesn't move if he cannot find meaning and access to solutions and resources. There are some masculine aspects, beliefs, and ideas that have been crystallized within the neurological system and mental body. They are thick as a wall, unable to receive any new information, stuck in the past and in total resistance to change. The old commands that they had received had great meaning and reasoning, so why change them? These parts, though they see what is happening in the world and in their personal lives, and they recognize that they do not have the answers. They have not yet realized what is coming and what they are meant to do but they will when the right time arrives. Everything that takes place now is about the breaking down of these mental walls and bringing the change in the inner flows and commands of the masculine and all. Please note that this also concerns the awakened feminine, who thinks she's got everything figured out or that she knows what needs to be done. What she needs or how ascension will unfold from now on just because she has been leading the spiritual part of the ascension process, and she has been given the masculine spiritual guidance or instructions. Well, she actually does not know because this is about the physical guidance, and she needs her inner awakened masculine for this, but the masculine has his mental walls up still. He is not ready. Because of this, she has actually been bypassing what his nature truly needs in many ways cultivating illusions in her because she has been programmed in a certain way and feeling scared, tired, etc. The feminine needs to know her boundaries and limitations and occupy her own true position if she does not know what comes next or how the masculine will act. She needs to focus on her own healing and balance and allow the masculine to do the same. This will be clearly shown to the feminine if it hasn't already. She does not have his codes, nor can she steal them. This has to do with one's physical biology. But of course she needs them as he needs hers. They both will have their essence available and enjoy their codes mutually when the time comes. From now on, the ascension process is transforming into a version that she does not know. Once the inner masculine walls begin to break down, we are going to switch into a different version of the awakening experience. A new dawn will come in the human perception, and new kinds of actions will be taken by the masculine once he is ready and aligned to the organic time. Now, what can change, break down, or destroy a wall, practically speaking? Mold, a wrecking ball, controlled demolition, an earthquake, fire, a hammer, or perhaps a magician making the wall disappear? These can be necessary. What would you choose in order to bring down a wall and make space for a new building? The wall can show great resistance, especially if it was built with old and strong materials like stone. We all need to face the inner walls and limitations and confess and admit to the self everything about the wall and everything that we cannot see behind it. There might be fear or great uncertainty, but there is no other way. We have to find ways to either break down the walls or move through them. Ascension for the twin flames takes two and then the third is born. As a feminine, you can have as many twin flame meditations as you wish, but unless the masculine aligns to the organic time and flows in his own choice in the physical, there can be no change. This is why a twist in the movie is ahead. Because the feminine, via her own shadow, she was trying to figure it all out and act on her own, often bypassing her own huge red flags and distortions and by justifying the ones of the masculine. Because of this shadow, she has been often feeling weak and ill. This will now be shown to her clearly. The masculine is in a form stasis right now, a creative one, while his old world is being destroyed. He is processing many and fast realizations in his subconscious computer. 
at the right time he will return as he is already in the process of resurrection into his own new being once he comes out of stasis and into alignment to the organic time he will know what to do via his own code he does not need the feminine to tell him what to do the synchronization of the two is already on so a huge correction is taking place in both they are both breaking down the old walls and coming in contact with their deepest shadows no need to rush the process as it is unfolding naturally what we need is to try to be in alignment to the current energies the current of life this correction will bring a divine twist in the twin flame story do you remember the work with the labyrinth last year this is about this the shades will be removed I will write more on this soon and how it is connected to the T. Corona Borealis Nova Explosion. Good things are coming for those who occupy their true positions. Erini, El Mariana Anadi Miana, Ol A Christos, Hunama Anata Kumara, Yellow Galactic Warrior. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light Natalia Alba, Beloved Ones, after the eclipses important light frequencies and activations we have agreed to align with are now being anchored into our bodies the inner work achieved since march of healing and reconnecting our body channels and unifying our female and masculine energies is helping us now and allowing more love and healing into our light vehicles many are already immersed in a stage of sacred marriage as the first step towards creating balanced relationships the heros gamos or sacred marriage is finally being achieved within many of us and in our planetary template as a reflection of this inner transformation many of you will be reunited with your divine counterpart which does not necessarily mean twin flames but simply to the soul mates who can best co-create with you at this time and whose personal purpose is aligned to yours relationships are also key during this period we are entering as they are the best way we have to prove our self-mastery is through our conscious reunions as they show us where we are and where we need to create more self-love worth respect and compassion so we can too give it to others we are entering into a season of conscious manifestation in which everything we have integrated decoded and cleared will now be reflected in our physical lives all the love healing and compassion will also be expanded into our relationships for we too came here to show how to create harmonic and equal relationships moving from toxicity to unity and balanced partnerships it is now a time after this integration phase to focus on recalibration and stabilization of the many changes and body many ascending souls are now experiencing a profound inner shift resulting in changes in their lives as well for as it is within it is without and when our inner universe changes everything is being reorganized to match our new frequency every one of you is unique with an unrepeatable blueprint light codes and purpose every one of you is now decoding the energies embodied during this time in a totally different way for our consciousness will utilize them for the unique purpose of your choice and all creation some of you are experiencing a galactic awakening and clearing while others are embodying more aspects of your soul mission our responsibility is to learn how to integrate decode and stabilize to allow the process of conscious retrieval in our bodies during the previous months i shared the awakening of the golden and ruby ones now we are heading into a new phase in which the stabilization and balance of both the feminine and masculine continue with many changes facilitated by the eclipses frequencies a new passage for those with pleiadian and emerald blue ray lineage and hence syrian and essene as after the frequential shift that is taking place anchoring love and unification is pivotal and this is part of the mission the blue rays and pleiadians bring to the world four 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 coming in 
both of you with a unified template as Syrian, Blu-ray, Essenes, Incarnates, will now be starting a phase of unification that involves the remote work with the Earth's grids, New Earth's timelines, and the fabrics of time and space. As we cannot restructure the Earth's grids and retrieve its lost connection to the many dimensions that exist, at first we do not open time, for we have a very close sense of time and space in our plane. We are heading into a season in which we will see how the dance between the feminine and masculine has shifted from previous years, as both are now more unified. The female now seeds what the masculine will manifest and protect in the physical, for we are working with both essences equally. My guide shared that during the next passage there will be an activation in many of you who have been working with the integration of polarities, awakening your shoulder portals as you rehabilitate your sixth and seventh dimensional DNA strands. It is due to this inner work that many of you are now able to achieve both polarity integration and galactic lineage retrieval, embodying the codes that will help you continue restoring the female principle on Earth. For those with Pleiadian, Venusian, and Emerald templates will start their work of conscious healing and unification during the next month's passages. The 5-5 five five together with the Pleiadian portal will help us anchor the change in both the female and masculine, for both are finally embracing each other as it was meant to be since the beginning of our creation. We are ending an era of manipulation and control by remembering who we are, standing firm in our personal truth and guidance, and extending the same love and peace to all. Compassionate witnessing is vital to neutralize the many attempts to disturb our inner peace and harmonic phase we have achieved on the planet, despite the many tactics to tell us otherwise. Yours is the choice to remain in the highest frequency possible, to help in the current planetary trajectory as planetary restoration is accomplished by individually remaining in our higher hearts holding love and grace for all who are involved in this transition. Within infinite love, from NataliaAlba.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Judith Kusel. I am so buzzing with all the energies this morning that I am needing to ground myself every now and again. We are being lifted beyond the beyond. Add to the stormy, rainy weather and rain in torrents. In Africa, rain is a blessing and how. I am so grateful as the farmers were getting worried about the water levels in their dams and some were already needing to feed them. How blessed we are. It's like the cosmic rains of light codes are pouring down and into us after yesterday's eclipse. They are filled with sacred geometries, sound and light, activating our highest soul potential as well as the higher octaves of sound and light. Last night I could hear the angels and seraphim singing before I fell asleep. It was more than heavenly as they were celebrating. We are now stepping into the fullness of the shift in consciousness, while simultaneously the old is dismantled. We will find our hearts are open wider and we access the higher wisdom, knowledge, and love as our inner sight increases. From JudithKusel.com and today from Divine Sistar of the Light Carolyn, 144 God Code. New opportunities are opening to make decisions about. Take the lessons from the past and apply them to your decision making. This can be a second chance to do things better this time. You hold the power to take yourself towards blessed increase in your life. Trust the expansion that is calling you into the new. Stay hard open and keep moving towards your goals. In Jesus Christos name, Amen. God bless you, love, Carolyn, from 144godcode.com. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Ra James, you may be feeling an eclipse hangover. That's because your body needs a minute to integrate the energies you have received. You may be feeling slow, achy, or tired. Listen to your body. Make sure you're doing extra self-care. The eclipse darkened the skies all across the world. Pay attention to what was coming up for you for yesterday's eclipse. Whatever was will continue to be worked on over the next few weeks. 
you will still be feeling the energies of the eclipse over the next few days during an eclipse there is a shift in the vibration and frequency of energies on earth you will be feeling the energies a little extra right now expect major shifts in the energies we are still receiving a huge influx of light codes it's all about shifting into a deeper energetic alignment eclipses are meant to shift the direction of your path eclipses help us to clear our shadows we are releasing a lot of energies not serving us during this time take care of your energy the focus should be on healing our moon is conjunct mercury today expect this to be good for opening up communication in your relationships it will help you to put your feelings into words we are getting ready for the lyrids meteor shower the lyrids meteor shower runs from april 14th through the 30th get ready for some spectacular fireballs this meteor shower brings us a lot of energies from lyra and will peak on the 22nd we are also kicking off the Eta Aquarids Meteor Shower. The Eta Aquarids Meteor Shower runs from April 15th through the 27th. It will peak on May 6th from Sparks of Divine Light Healing .com. And from Divine Sister of the Light Pam Gregory. Tomorrow we have an exact conjunction between Mars and Saturn at 14 degrees Pisces. This can manifest in many ways. One potential is that we could see some military action at sea, Pisces, as Mars-Saturn is prominent in people who go into the military, but also into the outer events of military action. Personally, it can make us feel frustrated with something, as Mars is like stepping on the accelerator, and Saturn like stepping on the brake, not so fast. This may simply take an energetic form, or where we run up against some authority figure. However, with this knowledge, we can also make different choices as to how this aspect plays out in our lives. It is wonderful, disciplined Saturn, action, Mars, and I can testify to this with a very tight Mars-Saturn opposition in my birth chart. I am an incredibly disciplined person. Any Mars-Saturn aspect can make us push ourselves to the limit to achieve our goal and complete the task. So use this aspect well over the next couple of days. It is particularly good in Pisces for spiritual action. Whether that is yoga, tai chi, or compassionate action, that is, for example, taking care of someone unwell, working at a food bank or soup run, looking after people who are more outcast from mainstream society. I passionately believe that if we can use this aspect positively in the world, it has less energy to manifest negatively, individually, and collectively. So plan some compassionate, spiritual, or disciplined action over the next two days, and you will be well supported. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Colleen Lemma, on Tuesday, April 9th, just hours after the new moon solar eclipse, the moon, ruler of cycles and unconscious responses, has now moved into deliberate Taurus and will be creating a challenging square connection to Pluto, planet of letting go of repressed feelings. Yes, this was a new moon solar eclipse, activating new beginnings, but there is still some work to do in releasing what no longer serves us. Remember, eclipses come in pairs, and this one is coupled with the lunar eclipse in Libra, that we had on March 25th, which was about endings and completion. Pluto works on a deep level to bring out and purge what is hidden in the subconscious of our psyche, ruled by the moon. We are going through a process of death and rebirth to the very depths of our soul. We are still transmuting lower energies. This will allow us to be ready once the new cycle of opportunities and redirection presents itself. Taurus, where the moon is, is about self-care, self-value, and self-worth. So be loving, kind, and nurturing to yourself today as you move through the shift you are experiencing. Blessings of love and light to all from SacredSoulEmpowerment.com And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Lunar Aspects. We are climbing down from the eclipse. Maybe you're frazzled, mind-boggled, burned out, angry. Or perhaps you're fired up, enlightened, inspired. Whether up, down, or somewhere in between, we all need time to process. 
Luna knows it, slips into Taurus, where we seek security and comfort. But initially there's a blind corner to turn. Fears tickle, the feeling that everything could spin out of control. Shadow spooked, we fumble to build trust. Just breathe. Wiggle your toes in the grass, bake bread, call your honey, sing to the cows in the field, hug trees. Because Pluto offers gifts, as he always does. Gold lies here, but it takes some digging. It's about understanding what we have and what we need. It's about investing in our future. It's about knowing that we are worthy of investment and that we have the power to control some, if not all, of what happens next. Set fair a place at your table, get to know them and their roots. Bless them for wanting to keep you safe. Then resolve to take the untrodden path, secure in the knowledge that you have everything you need to transform your life. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zoltkeen Times, Keen 171, Blue Lunar Monkey. Lunar is the name for the number two, and its keywords are polarize, challenge, and stabilize. The second day of a wave spell is about identifying challenges, which are very useful, but can be painful too. Don't be too hard on yourself, and try to remember everyone else is also having a challenging day. Focus on solving problems and removing obstacles. You may have to step things up to succeed. Today is Blue Monkey, which represents magic, illusion, and play. Oh, what fun Monkey has on a challenging day. Some folk may be tempted to stay in bed, but there's no escaping time. Monkey is a great teacher and will gladly show you the errors of your way. Be open to learning and everything will be fine, but if you are stubborn, you will become Monkey's favorite kind of target. Monkey teaches that we make fools out of ourselves. Remember also that monkey is on our side, so be grateful. As it is a lunar day, identify which illusion is challenging you, because only by looking at your issues can you address them. Every wave spell follows the same pattern, and this rhythm gets us into a groove with the frequency of time. The second day is always tricky, because we just began a new journey, and immediately we are facing what might slow us down. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Blue Lunar Monkey, to Chuain, Keen 171, 9th of April 2024, Stabilizing Illusions, 94 2024 equal 948 equal 912 equal 93 equal 12 equal 3, 12 12 3 3. Day codes, 9, Destiny, Service, Compassion, Humanity, Grace, Endings. 12, Spiritual Strength, Wisdom. 3, Holy Trinity, Joy, Happiness, Communication. Month Year Codes, 4, Form, Structure, Foundation, Earth, Angelic. 8, Infinite, Abundant, Source, Flow. 12, 3, 2, Twins, Partners, Cooperation, Alliances, Duality. 20, The Awakening, Clear Vision. 24. Charisma, Happiness, Healing, Joy. Keen 171 equal 9. Destiny, Service, Compassion, Humanity, Grace. 99. Nine, divine Destiny Code. A magical day for stabilizing illusions to liberate greater love. Day 2 in the White Dog Wave Spell of Unconditional Love, Loyalty, Devotion, Service, Friendship, and Faith. We are uncovering and healing all that separates us from source love in order to be love. Today we are grounding and anchoring unconditional love into the physical plane. Very important service work of the earth grid workers through Keen 171. We are stretching the boundaries and uncovering the challenges, resistance and opposition to embodying more love in our physical vessels and on our beloved planet. All illusions will be revealed through the light of day, from dark to light, as the sun is resurrected from the underworld, through the guidance and protection of Oak, the white dog. Alleluia! Tone of creation, lunar tone too, in the physical realm. The lunar tone represents the sacred twins, cooperation, relationship, polarity of male and female, and duality. Its action polarizes, power challenges, essence stabilizing. 
Yesterday we magnetized and attracted spiritual energy, and today we anchor that energy in our physical bodies and physical environment. What beautiful alchemy utilizing these phenomenal eclipse energies from spiritual to physical. We are grounding this new light. The lunar tone may also reveal challenges in order to recognize and release anything stopping us from attracting divine love and oneness. Aho! Today's question is, how can I magically allow for higher love and greater abundance to fully stabilize in my physical reality? 144. Continuing to pulse in. Divine blessings for a magical and playful day of higher love and devotion. Om Shanti. In la Ketch a la Keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger. Keen 66. Keen 171. Blue Lunar Monkey. The mantra the code for today is, I polarize in order to play, stabilizing illusion. I seal the process of magic. With the lunar tone of challenge, I am guided by the power of abundance. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Sister of the Light, Mariana Buriana, for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. We appreciate you and your continued support. And we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank Divine Angel of the Light, Peace Love Dove, for your super thanks donation today and your continued support. We appreciate you very much and are very grateful for all your support. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful meditation from the Summit Lighthouse. Meditation upon St. Germain. On the Sabbath of the seventh ray, you greet the master of the Aquarian age, St. Germain. Friend of old, I am honored at thy presence here. So may I know the cosmic honor flame that is entwined with strands of gold and violet as elementals weave a garland of praise to the night commander of my heart. And you tarry before the alchemist of the spirit who has come to teach you the science of the amethyst ray and the ritual of grace that will be the law for the next two thousand years. Dwal Kul from the Meditation, The Hidden Chamber of the Heart. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed day as we continue our journey through the Ascension Portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.